just in front of me is the biggest attraction in Karatha that everyone comes from all around to go to this place. It's quite special, quite... Uh... Right, so the plan is, is to head uh, to the next service station. I've just come back onto the Great Eastern. Yeah, the bike is running really nice now because it's nice and cool. I messed up yesterday. What I did is I waited around in Tom Price and then went off in the heat of the day, so I was dying.
So it's a bit noisy here, but um, just in front of me is the biggest attraction in Karatha that everyone comes from all around to go to this place. It's quite special, quite, uh, no one, uh, it's KFC and I'm not joking. Was it worth it? Just a cool down, I reckon it was. Catch up on uh, some messages and get in contact with everyone. So apparently everyone's telling me that I've got to go vote. So it's compulsory in Australia, so everyone has to do it. So I'm all sorted, everything's done. Um, picked up some eye drops, because my eyes, since yesterday, I didn't really realize, they're all bloodshot. I just think the wind and stuff just playing up. Right. Get some fuel and get the out of town. Be done in Karatha. Uh, I've got eye drops. I'm all cooled down. I've got seven liters of water. I've got plenty of fuel. So there's 250 k's for me to go. It's three o'clock, so it's much cooler now. There's nothing more to say than just get on with this boring ass ride to the desert.
so I made it before the sun went down. Um, let me just check to see that they haven't given my room away. Still my room. So by trade, I'm a truck driver. Just decided to take a break, really. I haven't told work. There's no particular reason. It's a really good company. Uh, I've pretty much worked here for a couple of years now. I'm not quitting. Don't want to say the word quit because that means you hate it. I'm saying leaving for now. I'm just leaving for a bit. And maybe I'll come back. That's what I'm hoping. Maybe they'll take me back. Maybe they'll be like... <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just going to pack my room up and then head off. Tomorrow I'm going to leave it with a friend and then on with the rest of the trip. <sighs> right. Good thing I'm going to have a shower. I'm going to throw my clothes in the wash. Get some food. Oh, sounds good. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to rest up. So I've done everything I need to do in Port Edland. I've spoken to work, I've packed up my room, I've had a shower, washed my clothes, recharged everything, changing the bags around on my bike, rehydrated, I've got some decent sleep. Surprising what the desert can do to you. I've really realized how dehydrated I was after being now being hydrated, my brain just wasn't working properly. I'm gonna leave early in the morning, not too early, because it's dangerous. Probably pretty early actually, probably when it is dangerous. And then ride until it gets stupidly hot and then hopefully take a break for a bit until it cools down and then continue. Something like that. So let's crack on, shall we? This point here, this exact mark here, where that truck just went down, that's where I used to go in my truck. I have never been any further in Australia than this. I just wanted to mark that because it actually means something to me. So this is really it. I'm really doing it. I'm really going around Australia. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. You can tell I'm actually excited. The last few days have just been Oh, get to Port Hedland, get to Port Hedland. And now it's the unknown. So it's pretty good. Let's, let's do it, let's do it. Staying hydrated is the key to staying as survive. Staying. See, that's what happens when you are not hydrated. You can't think clearly and you can't talk. It's one of the signs. Um, yeah, 